Well, I've had the wall of waters on my tomatoes, and I got a video if you're interested in those. They really worked well because, well, we've had a colder than usual season. And I thought, though, it's time to take them off. Even though night before last it got down to 40 degrees, I'm figuring, hey, it is June 4th and it's time to have our garden, right? So I took the wall of waters off and then I put on the tomato cages. Here you can see. But I found that there was some damage on one tomato. There's holes in a leaf. Let me show you closer. So here's the one leaf I just took off. Look at all the holes in it. So do we have a hornworm? Is it flea beetles? I'm not sure. Let's see what else I can find. This is the only thing I can find on the leaves. Let's see if I can get a more up close shot. So did you guess what this is? This is a tortoise beetle. And I discovered that um, a year or two ago in my garden. I found one of them on a green um, container I had outside and I thought what in the heck is this? I mean they're very alien looking. It's like that clear protective cover on top of them. But they can eat the leaves of tomato plants. Generally they aren't going to do a lot of damage. They do make the leaves not uh, look nice. But just to be safe I want to get rid of the tortoise beetles on my plants and make sure nothing else is eating them. Well, that's it. I don't think it's flea beetles. I think it's whatever type of beetle that is. But I've got some diatomus. How do you say it? Diatomus earth? Diatomus earth? Oh, I'm terrible with pronouncing things. I'll show you the bag. So this stuff is a very fine dust of ground up or crushed silica type shells made from a prehistoric animal actually called the diatom. I'm probably pronouncing that wrong too, but it has, even though it's very small particles, they have sharp edges. And so um, it's good for preventing your plants from slugs. And what it does is break through the beetle, the waxy part of the beetle and it will cause problems. It can kill it. It can cause breathing problems. It can disrupt um, digestion. You know, not nice ways to die, but darn it, stay away from my tomato plants. Okay, I'm going to put that on here. So we're going to try that and see if that works. I'm going to put it on the other tomatoes. Be back. This just goes to show you how important it is to check on your plants regularly and make sure there are no critters on them. And if you find something, try to take care of them organically. You know, some bugs are good. So there's good bad bugs and there's bad bugs. So don't kill the good bugs by mistake. Got a little video on that too if you're interested. Anyway, I thought you might find this interesting, and I'd love to know how your crops are doing. Are you having any problems with your tomatoes? Any pests attacking them? Comment below. As always, I'd love to hear from you. This is Prepper Potpourri saying please subscribe, share the knowledge, and thumbs up if you like this video.